We got this guy here. This is my shortcut right here. Ready to go. <laughs> Good morning guys to the best family on YouTube. Today is chest and biceps featuring David. He is gonna be doing chest with me. We're starting it off with incline bench. We always do a warm up set for almost every single exercise. And what that allows you to do is really get those muscle fibers, get them warmed up before you actually start incorporating heavier weights. As you can see, we're starting off with just the bar itself. The bar is 45 pounds, uh, just, 45 pounds, <laughs> there's no kilograms or whatnot. Uh, then we went on to 45 pounds for David. I believe I went 45 and a 10, I'm not 100% sure. I believe 45 actually. Uh, we did four sets, 15 reps, 12 reps, 10 and 10. That's lots of volume uh, to really develop that muscle. Right now I'm bulking up, you guys know that if you guys are following me. Lots and lots of volume, meaning when you do volume, you're gonna have to do a lot more reps, uh, a lot more sets. Sets are gonna roughly be around four to five sets. The limit, I'd say, is three. Uh, I mean, sorry, minimum, three sets. So, after we do incline bench, we do the same weight for incline bench, just so you guys know. It's the same weight for 15 reps, 12 reps, and 10 reps for four sets, just constant. Next thing we did are the incline dumbbell flies. That is three sets of 12 to 15. I use 35 pound dumbbells. As you can see, you gotta really stretch that upper chest. It's a little bit harder because if you keep your elbows too high up, it's gonna be focusing on your shoulders. And I noticed on this day that my shoulders are a little bit too pumped, a little bit more pumped than I really wanted it to be. Uh, obviously, that means I gotta work my form a bit. As you can see, David is doing some as well here, you can see with his form, his elbows are a little bit too high, but he told me that he was feeling it on his chest and his shoulders weren't really bothering him. So maybe his shoulders are very developed because he is in cheer. And with cheer, you know, uh, you're always lifting up girls and stuff like that. So I wouldn't be surprised if his shoulders are very developed from that. So he felt in his chest a lot, despite his form being slightly off. I helped him out a bit, you know, little tips here and there by squeezing the chest, bringing it up, stretching it when you bring it down. Uh, and stuff like that, simple things. Next thing we did is flat barbell bench press. Yes, this is a lot of pressing movements. Pressing allows you to really grow the chest and build size. Flies is more so to stretch it out, get the width of the chest. Now, for flat barbell bench press, we did three sets of 12 to 15, 155 pounds for myself. And when I say 12 to 15 reps, what I normally do is for the first set I do 15, second set I do 14, and the third set I do 13. So I'm still keeping it in the range of 15 to 12 reps, but I'm pushing myself when it's more so in the beginning. And you guys saw there I did a little wink, or David did a little wink there, so I uh, slowed down the footage just so you guys can see. You probably get a little mad from that. But he did 25 pounds for three sets, 12 to 15 as well. I'm not quite sure if he started it with 35 pounds at first, that's what I do when I train people. I try to push them to their limits. I try to make sure they lift heavy, but not so much that they're gonna injure themselves. Here David's doing dips. We are doing dips now for two sets of 12 to 15, no weight whatsoever. You can see David, he's going a little bit too low on his form. 90 degrees, I say, is the best way to really hit your chest and develop it. For me, I could work on my form right here. I have to bring it all the way up to the top so I don't hurt myself, like hurt my, uh, sorry, elbow joints and really develop the chest in general. Here, again, form, I gotta work on my shoulders. My shoulders are moving too much. I gotta keep them in place, keep the shoulders back, focus on the chest. David does this very well, you guys will see very soon here. See, I gotta keep my shoulders back and focus on the chest. Sometimes I kinda shrug my shoulders a little bit too much and making that hunch back, and you do not wanna be doing that when you're hitting your chest. For here, we did cable crossovers, two sets, 12 to 15. Sometimes I added another set, depending on how the chest is feeling itself. Uh, I would do eight going downward, kind of focusing more so on the bottom of the chest than eight going forward, focus more on the mid chest. You can see here, David is very good with his form, keeping the shoulders back, focusing on the contraction of the chest itself. This is very good form, David. Uh, if you're watching this, good, good form. Uh, see, you can see here he's focusing on the chest. You know, he has the good face <laughs> for for hitting chest You know all that great stuff. Next off, we moved on to biceps. Now, we did reverse, tri sorry, reverse bicep curls. We did three to four sets, I believe, of 12 to 15. This is higher reps, always high volume. We're trying to build muscle, not build strength. 
We did 10 pounds on each side. Uh, and you can see on David's form, his elbow was moving a little too much. With my form, now my body moves too much. So there's always something you could fix. No matter how long you've been training, there's always something you can fix. And I've been training for four years, so there's definitely always gonna be something you could fix. Now, next thing we did is straight barbell curls, four sets, 20, 15, 15, and 12 reps. This is just 45 pounds, sorry, 40 pounds for this one. Uh, I started a little bit heavier when I do 20 reps, then I slightly go down because it gets a lot harder when you're doing 20 reps, 15 reps, 15 reps, and 12. David here did his as well. Uh, I believe he went a little bit lighter. Yeah, he went 30 pounds. And then the next thing we did, guys, are the dumbbell concentration curls. Three sets, 12 to 15. I used 17.5 pound dumbbells. I now moved on to 20 pound dumbbells because it's a little bit easier. And what you have to focus on this exercise is to leave your arm hanging and really squeeze the bicep. You can see here I need to bring my dumbbell a little bit higher to really squeeze the bicep itself. My, my bicep was very pumped on that day, but form is always key to building muscle. Now with David here, you can see his shoulders a little bit too shrugged up and it's kind of looking like he has a hunchback. He doesn't have a hunchback, but the form itself you got to work on. Um, if you do bring your elbow back a bit, this is what Steve Cook does, it does help with the, uh, what is that called, the peak of the bicep, which makes it really stand out. Not necessarily hits, makes it very big, but it makes it pop out to make it look a little bit more, more rounder. Uh, that being said, that was the last exercise for biceps, lots of volume, lots of reps. Now we moved on to abdominals. With abdominals, we were focusing more so on our obliques. You can see here, we're doing our upper obliques. Then the next one was our lower obliques. I really like the second exercise that I'm showing you guys right now because it allows me to really squeeze the side of my obliques. Uh, this is bringing your hips up, so it's gonna focus more on the lower obliques. And with doing men's physique, you guys know that obliques become a big part of the whole <laughs> physique itself because you have to have those wide shoulders all that stuff so the reason why we focus uh, with sorry incline bench and incline flies and all that stuff is to really make those things stand out and to overall have a great workout that's gonna really work on our weak points weak points you should always start with first in your exercises you should never neglect the points that you already have but you should still hit them but not first so you don't focus on them for instance i used to always do bench press first, just flat bench press. Now I'm doing incline press, incline flies, because I gotta focus on that upper chest, the shoulders, all that stuff, guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed that little workout. I'm just gonna show you guys how much I weigh. I'm going to take a picture, because the camera weighs like five pounds. Oh. Shit. <laughs> I want some point eight.